Hello guys, welcome back to Jack Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a little inventory system for like a little game or like items. Let me just close this. Let me just get rid of all this stuff and open up my stuff here. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I was just making a little game. But let's get back to work. Okay, so um just delete everything in your main method. Um let's make a new class and call it player. Player. And um let's add let make two um let's make a um method. Let's make um a um a private static array so it doesn't change and we're gonna do it by name so we do private static string then let's name it in for inventory then set it equal to new string then let's do five so it can hold five items and let's just um make a new method called add item to in inventory so let's do public um void add item to in and then just add the item name then um we're gonna do uh, int i equals zero I less than um in dot get length oops dot length that just gets the um the size of the of the array so in dot length so that um this equals five basically so then we'll do um i plus plus in the brackets so just do um put an if statement saying if um uh in i equals um does not does not equal null then we'll um set it to um then we'll do um in i um equals name so let me show you what this code does um let me just add an else statement for now though. Okay, so what this code does is you, when you run the method, you're gonna um, have a parameter of the inventory name. So then it's gonna go through a loop. It's gonna loop through this array, but not really. It's gonna just get the amount of this array, and it's gonna do. So if the, and then it's just gonna keep loo a loop until the um, inventory does not equal null. That means that it's not empty. That means you know, um, oh, I'm sorry. We want to make it equal null. So if the in if the inventory i equals null, in i in the um in the uh, the loop equals name. So again, what this does is you will um it loops through the, the inventory kinda. It just makes a loop, then it tests if in the uh, the number that it looped at equals not null, uh, null then it just does in i equals name and if that does that we'll just put a um this and we'll put a return statement and what this does is it just ends this method it just ends the method if it's a void it just ends the method so why we put this return statement is cuz we don't want it just to keep looping through once we add an item because if we didn't have this and all these slots were empty it would add the same item to all of the uh, inventory slots so that's why we put the return statement now we'll put a um now we'll put some not here just saying system dot out dot print fine you have no room in your inventory. So if it uh, if all these things loop through, if 
or if the um, if the map if the uh, for loop ends, it will just print out you have no room in your inventory. So let's run this. Oh, uh, and we'll just make it so it prints out the item it added. There. So that would just print out the item you have added. So let's add these methods. Let's make a new object, an instance of that class. Let's call it p equals new player. And we'll just do p dot add item to in. And let's add dude bacon. Okay, now that we added bacon and we run this program, you have added bacon. And um, then it will. Print you have added bacon. So um, let's now make another method in here called um print list. I'm at print end. So I'll just print all out the whole inventory. So we'll just do um for a string x. In remember this is an enhanced for loop. It just loops through each item of this and it stores it as X. So it loops through on the um, uh, the um, inventory and it gets the data and it stores it as X. So we've learned that. Then we'll just be system dot out that print line X. So um now what this will do is um we will print it. Let's do p dot print in. It will print you have added bacon. I mean, you have added bacon. Then it prints out the list. And if you want to change this to um, just if you want to put nothing instead, you can um, you can put a if statement like um. Well, like you can like do this instead. Here, let me show you. You would just put uh, you would just do that, and you would declare it as um it just nothing. Oh, now it doesn't print anything. So now we would have to do if that equals that. Then it would just print out bacon. But anyway, that's how you do that. And you, we could um, um, uh, let's make another method called remove item. Um, and string it. Then we'll do pro int i equals zero. I less than in dot length I plus plus if I meant if in I that equals name in I equals that that's it. Then we could just do remove from you have oh, I don't know. Oh, like let's do that item is is not in your inventory. So now if we um put um p dot add right, remove item we'll do bacon and we do the p dot print end it will print. you have added bacon bacon that item is not in your inventory because we we removed it and it printed it again so that's how you make a little inventory thing. I will um upload this um code, all this code. To the, um, I will upload this 
to the video in the description and you can check it out. Like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, bye.